And this table is arguably one of the most simplest, but at the same time also most fundamental and important. It collects average bulk compositions of all the various chondrite groups. So the first column are the various elements, and then the following columns are the various chondrite groups. So the first couple of columns are the carbonaceous chondrites, and ordinary chondrites, encetite R, and K chondrites. Now the unit is always the same, it's always weight percent, uh, weight ppm. And this is quite convenient for calculations, because if we do some normalization, for example normalizing to magnesium or something like this, then if we divide silicon by magnesium and both have weight percent, then it's fine. But if um, we use zinc or indium, then zinc might be um, weight ppm and indium weight ppb and magnesium weight percent, and then if we divide these um, through each other, we get some problems with the, with the units here. But if all are in the same, then there's no problem. So I want to show just um, briefly how we can use a program like Mathematica, for example, to very quickly uh, look at these data. So in this program, the first two lines just import this data set, and then the values of the data set are stored in this imp value here. And this is one command that with which I can um, conveniently extract individual columns from this data set. So I execute this. And then, for example, in imp, now the data set is stored. So if I look just at the first line of imp, so I will get the various categories. So I execute it and I get the various categories, which are the various chondrite groups. And I can use this command, extract data, and um, use it for on the imp data set. And I want to extract, for example, CI data. And I need to put a 1, which means I'm extracting columns. And I get the data here. And I can also make a command from this, in which I get uh, the chondrite data, and I pass into this command the chondrite name. And so this is how I make this command here, and then the chondrite name will be um, put in here. So I can execute this command and then use this command here to, for example, as just did, extract these, these data. And I have in the first is weight ppm, which I can get rid of with um, this addition here. Now I have only the data here. And I can make then the same for CV, for example. Then I have the CI and CV data. And then I can also look at CV divided by CI. So I normalized now the CV data to the CI data. And this is the result. And I can, for example, then also plot these data. And so then I can quickly look at all these kind of data. And of course, I can then look at CR chondrites here, and then get the CR chondrites or CV, a CH chondrites or or EH chondrites. And this is a way to very quickly look at the, the various metrides. So of course I can also plot these against each other just for a little bit of having fun with this data here. So this is how and I make this maybe a list log, log plot and this is how it looks like when I plot the EH data in this case versus the CI data. And if this looks interesting, and you might think, how does this look for C, um, CV con, uh, contrite data in comparison? So we also add the CV data here, and then we have this kind. So this is just very briefly how we then can use these databases to have a look at this.